All right, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and Such, and this is SK5208 Test 58. Happy Holidays 2019. Ho, 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 it's the holiday time. I didn't do anything special. The only reason this is the holiday special is because it's coming out on a holiday, but ho, 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 enjoy the season. So anywho, we're going to start down here with our first pull station, and this is the FCI MS2 with the older FCI logo. I have a newer newer version, but I did get an older version a little while ago, so I'm finally showing that off today. And then going up, we have a Wheelock ZNS horn strobe. This will be doing code three horn at 30 candel, and this will be running through Wheelock sync through the panel. If we come all the way down here, we have a Wheelock NS. This will be doing code three electromechanical horn at 30 candel through the same sync. Going down, we have the Edwards 270 SPO single action tool reset pull station. We'll be pulling that today. In here, we have the ESL 521. This is a photoelectric smoke detector, and we will be attempting to smoke test that today. And then over here, we have a Edwards GS 281A heat detector. This goes off at 135 degrees fixed temp and has a rate of ride sensor, and we'll be doing rate of rise today. And then coming over here, we have a Wheelock RSS in red, and this will be flashing at 75 candela in the same Wheelock sync as the rest. And then a Faraday F1 GT Chevron, we'll be pulling that today, and that is located next to the enunciator. So, to begin the test, we will start with the FCI MS2. Here we go. Lift and pull. Okay. That's wonderful. I wonder why that happened. Why did it auto reset? Didn't do that once before. Okay. What is, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Something is not correct. Why are we resetting? It's not even doing walk test. Like, it's not going long enough to be stuck in walk test. That's weird. Um, so let's reset this. I like how, again, all through during setup and everything, it's going fine. And then I pull out the video to record. It, uh, and start acting funny and it's not like I have I'm trying to find a key I have a lot of keys because it's not like that's you know hidden slightly on reset but I'll I'll flip it around and see if I can find where the key go come on little shark So far, this has been a terrible video. I'm really sorry. There it is. A shark. Okay. What's going on? Oh, I guess there's no alarm to reset. So let me take that off and let me do a supervisory alarm with the switch and see what it does so this will be testing the system sensor duct detector switch okay so that is Okay, and if you're wondering why the two pitches come in a little differently, I have this one taped um, because even on its low setting was incredibly loud and it comes in just a bit earlier. So it's quieter, which is why you hear like a echo delay going across. Okay, let's try the FCI MS2 again. 
That was weird. What? Mmm. Okay. That was really weird. I don't know why that was doing that because it is set as a fire type, not local. Yes, I can disable it. Yes, respond in one second. Do not need to notify. I do not want auto silence. I want it to be able to be silenced. It does not have any special knacks or relay, so it should be good. But okay, let's let's see what happens as we move on. That. I don't know why that was doing that. That was really weird. Never done that to me before. All right, let's go try the Edwards 270 SPO. I don't have my little screwdriver. Oh, yes, I do. And three, two, one. Set from the key switch. That was really weird. Didn't do it that time. All right, let's go pull the Faraday. The Faraday F1 GT shot brown. So, in three, two, one. And because it is on wheel axe sync, I can do two wire audible silence through the SK5208 and all the strobes continue to flash in sync. So pulse station is reset. And then go ahead and reset the panel from the enunciator. And now panel is resetting. And then now we can do the rate of rise from the heat detector. Let's see how much layer juice I got. Enough. Okay, so the trick is now to get this without blowing the uh, blowing the little disc off as you've seen in some of my other videos. So let's just warm it, but not blow it apart. So we wait. So they really don't want to wreck another one of these suck but I guess you can get them for cheap on eBay but still it's money and as always don't try this at home you know gotta throw in those legal little nuggets so that was that the rate of rise feature just went off Alarms continue to sound. Silence from the silence button. Ooh, I'm falling. Panel silenced and strobes continue to flash. Let's see if this is cooled down yet. Uh, it's still kind of warm. Um, we'll go ahead and try it. Let's see what happens. It will reset from the operation on the panel. Okay, let's see if we were able to reset that or not. And we are reset. Alrighty. Let us now go smoke test that ESL. 
So remember, again, don't try this at home. Let's see how well this works. Grab it where it's not hot. <whistles> ah. Why did you reset again? Huh. Okay. Well, at least you got to see the detector go off. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching. Happy holidays. And as always, have a wonderful day.